Hi, welcome, welcome to the Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center. My name is Gabriel. And I'm Jessica. And we want to welcome you today on our virtual tour of the museum space. Now, even though you can't come to the museum, we're going to bring the museum today to you. So come on inside. So come on so you can check out exhibits. We've been missing you while we've had to. Everything's been closed down in the whole entire world, and we've been missing you. So we decided to do this virtual tour so that we can continue to stay engaged with you because we miss you. So right here, we're inside our exhibit called A Space of Our Own. This exhibit is about the first four townships of Prince George's County. A little black history fact, the Prince George's African American Museum is actually located in North Brentwood, the first township for African Americans in Prince George's County. We'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Let's talk about today's exhibit. Are you ready? Today, we're gonna to be doing a mini tour and we're gonna be doing a mini tour centering on the artwork on display by one of Prince George's residents, David Cassidy. The exhibit, the exhibition is called Race, Religion and Revolt and it centers on the themes of religion and police brutality and militarism and all of these things centering on the black experience. And today we want to take you on a mini tour of one, one, one particular piece that deals with that. So come on this way. So David Cassidy, this work we're gonna focus on today uh, David Cassidy, before we even get started, let's take out David Cassidy's work and we're gonna let you do some long looking or some deep looking as we call it in the museum world. Check out this piece right here. And what I'd like you to do is just take some time to look at it, see what you can see and think about what does this art piece say to you? What's going on in this art piece? Who are the people in this art piece? What are they doing? Okay, check it out. All right. Now, since this is a virtual tour, we invite you to share your comments and your thoughts in the comment box section below. But with that being said, the name of this piece from David Cassidy is called, And Then There Was Love. And David Cassidy, his, all of his artwork focuses on a special style of art called cubism. And cubism is when you, he uses a lot of different shapes to tell a certain story and make a picture. I want you to look at this artwork and tell me what shapes do you see? You can write your comments in the artwork below. All kinds of shapes going on here. He also chose to use many different colors, but a specific color scheme. So not all the colors in the world, he chose to use about three different colors, three or four different colors. What colors do you see in this artwork? Write your comments below. Okay, now Gabriel's gonna tell you a little bit more about this piece, and then there was love. What's interesting about this particular piece is that David Cassidy drew this piece in inspiration of his cousin. The woman here that you see is a grandmother figure who is his cousin, and she's holding her grandbaby. Also, if you look right here, this elder is holding a glass of water, refreshing her spirit. This is something that is critical to understand because love is a very complex but simple thing at the same time. Consider the ways the grandmother is sitting loving her grandchild. What are some of the ways that we, in these difficult times, can show love for one another? You know, I think that that's a good question, Gabriel, because the reason we picked this art piece today and decided to start here is because I think right now what the world needs is love and we can't get enough of it. So today I want you to think about what are some ways that you can show love uh, to your family, friends, and even though we can't really be in you know, contact with each other physically, maybe there's some ways that we can show love virtually. Like for example, we're gonna be giving you guys virtual tours of our museums, of different pieces in our museum uh, every day uh, so that you can watch at home on your phone and learn a little bit more about the work that we do here at the Prince George's African American Museum. So I want you to tune back in tomorrow at- 11.30 a.m. tomorrow. We'll be doing a piece a day. So again, 11.30 a.m. We'll continue to go through David Cassidy's artwork. And we're so thankful you chose to tune into this broadcast today. You know what? 
a art piece a day yep. keeps the cabin fever away. That, work <laughs> that works. So, so that we're works. gonna help you get rid of your cabin feet cabin fever with some beautiful black art mm. that's powerful yes. and it's by Prince George's County residents. Okay, so we'll see you later. Thank you for tuning in for the Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center, a home for Black excellence. Bye. Bye.